Okay, yet another PowerPoint that's dealing with AC 3.2, the tactics and measures used by agencies to achieve social control. And in this very brief PowerPoint, I'm going to look at the ASBO. It's in the syllabus, you're expected to know it, though in reality, the ASBO has been replaced now. And I'll deal with what it's been replaced by uh, in this PowerPoint. But you do need to be aware of the ASBO. So, ASBO stands for an antisocial behaviour order. It was a civ it's a civil order made against someone who's engaged in antisocial behaviour in the UK. They were introduced by the Labour Party under Tony Blair in 1998, and the intention was to give um, the state, the police, a way to prevent and control low-level behaviour that wouldn't normally warrant a criminal prosecution, but nevertheless brought fear and misery to those living amongst it. Now there's a link here that you can use if you're watching this on uh, YouTube. Uh, unfortunately, you're just gonna have to write the link down and use it, but there's a link to a news article about a group of uh, brothers who received ASBOs uh, in Essex, I believe it was. So worth checking out. So, ASBOs weren't without controversy. Actually, after they were introduced, many critics suggested that they actually um, defeated, the whole point of them was defeated because they actually became desirable to young people. They were seen by people as a badge to be respected amongst peers. And uh, there's another link there for you to a BBC article about that very same thing if you want to look in a little more detail. So an ASBO could be issued, and this is the exact wording of the law, in response to conduct which caused or was likely to cause harm, harassment, alarm or distress to one or more persons not of the same household as him or herself, and where an ASBO is seen as necessary to protect relevant persons from further antisocial acts by the defendant. And they were issued by magistrates' courts. And there's another link to a YouTube clip with um, some Welsh um, teenagers, no longer teenagers, but who received ASBOs and they're talking briefly about their experience of it. You may want to check that out. So antisocial behaviour involves a range of problems. So they, the ASBO could be issued for anything. So here's a list of some of the things uh, that they related to. So you can have noise pollution, such as playing music persistently too loud or persistently making other loud or intrusive noises, drunkenness, abandoning cars, burnt out cars, joyriding, stealing, mugging, shoplifting, begging, vandalism, graffiti, criminal damage to property, loitering, dropping litter, fly tipping, dog fouling, drug dealing, drug taking, intimidation, bullying, spitting. All of these could be linked to an ASBO. Here's one that's posted in a car park in Port Sea Island. I can only assume that this bloke uh, must have been involved in constant um, either damage to vehicles or attempts to steal ve uh, vehicles. I don't know, I'm just making an assumption. Um, and therefore his, his, um, his face was displayed actually in the car park. And this was very much um, what the ASBOs uh, were around. It was about naming and shaming and making the public aware that something was being done about these low level uh, criminals that were in, engaged in antisocial behaviour. But as I said, it was not without controversy. It became very much a badge of office. And I think it would be true to say that in general, uh, ASBOs failed. They were not successful. So they were replaced by the Criminal Behaviour Order, the CBO. And that is what we still have today um, in existence. So the ASBO is the CBO. This is what they look like. They were introduced by the Antisocial Behaviour Crime and Policing Act of 2014. The then Secretary Theresa May introduced them and they came in uh, into effect from the 20th of October 2014 and it just totally replaced the ASBO. So you can see here, this is what one looks like. Uh, this is one issued um, a, a criminal behaviour order for five years. 
It was issued on Wednesday, the 6th of November 2019, for five years. And this man is not allowed to go into Iceland stores in St Austell at all. He's not to remain on any premises if he's requested to leave by a police officer, PCSO, the owner, occupiers or a staff member. And he's not to use swear words, make threats or cause nuisance or obstruction that would cause any person to feel offence, harassment, alarm or distress directly or indirectly in the whole of Cornwall. There is your example of a criminal behaviour order. So it's designed to tackle the most serious, persistent antisocial individuals where their behaviour has brought them before a criminal court. That's my phone ringing in the background, but I'm not going to answer it because I'm doing this presentation. Um, here's another example. This is young Dale in Ilkley. He's not allowed to enter Ilkley Town Centre at all. And that order expires on the 28th of August 2020. So you can see the sort of things that they're for. They deal with a wide range of antisocial behaviour, following a conviction, for example, threatening violence against others in the community or being persistently drunk, aggressive in public. But the key thing that CBOs are not supposed to do is they're not designed to stop reasonable, trivial or generally benign behaviours, you know, inoffensive behaviours that have not caused or have not liked to cause antisocial behaviour. So that's the ASBO replaced by the CBO. We've got some examples there, pretty straightforward but you can see how they work and you need to have knowledge of them. Hope you found that useful.